attend some senior year ceremonies and festivities have been put on hold because of the pandemic. So one group of alumni want to make sure students are still left with good memories of their senior year. KT7 News anchor Stephanie Seyfert reports. It's the year these young women have anxiously waited three years for. Being a senior at Loretto Academy unlocks a number of traditions shared by generations of women. We're all so sad and just missing out on these like special moments. It's really heartbreaking. The class of 2020 will have a different story to tell. I keep thinking of it like this is going to be a really funny anecdote in the future. Like people are like, oh, what year did you graduate from high school? Oh, 2020, that year. <laughs> but it was the year when past generations came together to create a new experience for these seniors. One no other graduating class ever had. We have a Loretto community, regardless of where they are in the world, that wants to make sure that the girls of Loretto are enjoying their traditions and they're trying to make sure that they make them feel special. That was done through this Facebook page created by Dr. Celia Acosta, the CEO of YWCA El Paso del Norte region. We're the why dump, so we're about women. And so to be able to um, help and be a part of this for uh, Loretto Academy that has so many uh, strong women that have graduated from that school is an honor for me. So while traditions like Ring Rose, the alumni luncheon and Circle Drive are postponed for a later date, the lessons meant to be passed on through those customs seems to have come right on time. As Stephanie is safe for KTSM 9 News. Well, it's teacher.